So now I would like to discuss what's really happening with the uh, new generations of memory technology and, and what, it really, uh, what it really means uh, for them to hit the so-called memory wall. If you look at the speed, the interface speed and the aggregate throughput, that is how many gigabytes per second you can move between the controller and an individual memory device, and you plot that over time, what you're going to see is, is that the, the growth in memory speed interfaces uh, is exponential. That is, every few years, the, uh, the speed is doubling. And every time the speed doubles, that is generally going to be a, uh, described as a new generation of DRAM. The throughput in gigabytes per second between the controller and an individual DRAM, there's, there's a wide distribution there with GDDR5 being at the top at about 28 gigabytes per second. DDR and LPDDR are actually very similar at about 4.5 gigabytes per second. And then flash interfaces uh, come in at about uh, 1 to 1.5 gigabytes per second. Now, if you look at this trend, you'll notice that for DDR and LPDDR, that line is actually starting to roll off. So what is the reason that these, uh, these lines that are showing the increase in memory speed over time starting to roll off? Uh, the reason is that memory technology is hitting a wall. Every time there's a new generation of memory, every time there's a new generation of products, the demand for higher and higher throughput increases. And so if you were to look at what the, what the throughput requirements were, say, over the last few years and project that into the future, uh, you can see that uh, obviously throughput is going to be the, the product of how many interface uh, pins or balls you have in the device and what the, what the interface speed is uh, for each one of those pins. And so you can either go faster or you can go wider in order to achieve any given uh, number of gigabytes per second between the controller and the memory. And over time, that expectation is increasing. Now, if you look at current technology um, and what it can achieve, you really start to run into some fundamental limits, uh, in one case driven by Maxwell's equations, and the other case driven by uh, materials, uh, and fabrication processes. The limit uh, on speed uh, really exists because signal propagation physics start to dominate the, the interface design. So uh, everyone's heard about signal integrity. Uh, as you go from lower to higher speed, signal integrity becomes a more significant issue. And so things like crosstalk, loss, reflections, those kinds of things just become uh, much more difficult to manage as speed increases. On the other hand, if you try and go wider, you start to run into problems with how many signals, how many balls or bumps can you communicate uh, between a controller uh, and the DRAM. And right now the current maximum on that is about 512 bits. So if you look at, say, a graphics card, you might see a, a 500-bit uh, interface between the GPU and all the GDDR uh, memories in there. How would you increase that to 1,000? Uh, using current technology, uh, it's extremely challenging to do that. And so in order to get to the next generation of throughput, uh, it's, it's going to require a breakthrough in either how you achieve higher speeds or how you can get wider I.O. And in fact, it'll probably require a breakthrough in both areas. And so this memory wall here, which is boxing in current technology, both on the speed and the interface front, is demanding a revolution in signaling and in uh, interface definition, interface width.